It is a framework, not a final agreement. It is a framework that must be put into effect by the United Nations now. But it is a framework that with the Russian and U.S. agreement, it has the full ability to be able to, as the Prime Minister said, strip all of the chemical weapons from Syria. The Russians have agreed. They state that the Assad regime has agreed to make its declaration within one week of the location and the amount of those weapons. And then we will put in place what we, what we hope to put in place through the United Nations what Russia and the United States agreed on, which is the most far-reaching chemical weapons removal effort. The threat of force is real, and the Assad regime and all those taking part need to understand that President Obama and the United States are committed to achieve this goal. We cannot have hollow words in the conduct of international affairs, because that affects all other issues, whether Iran, or North Korea, or any other. The core principles with respect to the removal of these weapons and the containment of these weapons, which we want to achieve, as we said in the document, in the soonest, fastest, most effective way possible. If we achieve that, uh, we will have set a marker for the standard of behavior with respect to Iran and with respect to North Korea and any other state, rogue state, group that decide to try to reach for these kinds of weapons.